And I'm gonna show you how to catch them creek crappie. Get you an AC, get you an ACC crappie sticks. <laughs> get you a spring loaded bobber. And hey, get down to the creeks. And get on them creek crappie, baby. <laughs> Ah, I'm Cody. Welcome to Just Life, baby. Today we're catching crappies on the creek, so y'all stick around. All right, so if you watched my previous video, I went over a myriad of tips that help you get on these crappie that are in the creeks. I laid out my favorite techniques and styles of fishing, and today all I'm going to do is put those techniques to practice, and we're going to see how many we can reel in. Again, I'm fishing structure here, and I'm just popping it through there, giving it a little bit of action, going right up against the structure. So there's there's a tire right there. Me and my dad have a superstition that if there's a tire in the water, we fish it every time, no matter what. But at the base of that tire is a brush pile, and then just off of that tire is another brush pile underneath the water, which we found previously, and we just know that it's there, and so now we know where we like to fish at. So today I'm using an eighth ounce jig head therapist body. Got a uh, spring-loaded bobber, spring-loaded slip cork, depending on where in the country you're from. And uh, I'm just gonna be fishing this creek today, looking for them slabs. Oh. Just looking for slabs, you know, looking for schools of them. As they start to move into the, as they start to move into these creeks, oof, I almost fell right there. But the most important thing to do is to make sure you're getting out there and wetting the line. So what I like to do on this stuff like this is I'll cast past it. I'll let that current kind of push it over just to fuzz, and I'm gonna reel it into the strike zone very slowly, like right there. For right, right now, this morning, they were right on that tire. So right there, I'm right under the tire. I mean, I'm dang near touching it. And I'll pop it just a little bit like that. And if they want to hit it, they'll strike it. If they don't, then they won't. Now this is post frontal conditions. A storm just blew through, a quick one, but uh, you know it was high pressure, overcast, rainy, and so some of the best time to fish is right after a front, or right after a storm. Well, that's what I'm trying to get on today. It's right after this storm that just rolled through. And don't be afraid to mess with the depth. So I'm about 12 inches there. I'm gonna push it up to about 14, 15. I'm gonna go back through. I'm gonna cast past. I'm just going to bring it back to it. I'm going to work it through there. Again, working with the depth, trying to find a pattern. That's the first thing I want to do today is discover what pattern they want. Whether they want it sitting, whether they want me to walk it, whether they want it popping. You know, finding the right depth and the right pattern. It's the key that's vital to your success on the day. It's figuring out what they want. All right, we're going to go down to the next spot here that I know usually holds some fish. So we're going to walk down here. All right. Again, I'm going to fish this submerged stuff here. That wind, I gotta play that wind a little bit better. A little bit better than I did. Let me get here closer to the water. Let me get down here a little bit closer. There we go. So for this one, I'm gonna let the current do a lot of the work, but I'm also gonna pop it, pop that rod tip like, like this. You're gonna pop that rod tip every now and then just to get that jig in, in motion a little bit there. Yeah, this ripple on the water is gonna help us move the move the jig through so it's going to help with motion it's going to keep that tail wiggling which is what you want there it is there it is <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> oh that's the littlest fish <laughs> got the littlest fish in the lake huh <laughs> oh but there you have it i mean it catches fish look at that little baby that's a little baby crappie look at that thing that thing is tiny but that technique i'm telling you that wind letting it letting that wind pull it around Let's try again. Let's see if mama's down there. Let's go back over there and see if mama's in there. You know, usually, like they say, if there's one, there's more. So let's see what else we can try to pull out. And really the hardest part of finding a crappie in the creek is just locating them. Once you locate them, you're, you're usually pretty golden. And this spot here usually holds a good amount. I'll let the wind do its thing. See what this wind can do for me. There it is. There it is. Right on the back side of that log. <laughs> that's why you fish that submerged timber they're little guys today but hey they tighten the line they tighten the line that's two off his spot let's throw it back in there see what we can do i bet we catch another one I bet we catch another one right in the same spot no doubt there it is see <laughs> oh that's a bigger one. Oh, that's a slab oh that's a slab there we go there we go there we go see do a little homework Catch a little fish. <laughs> That's three in a row, ladies and gentlemen. That's three in a row. 
Let's let's see if we can quadruple down. Let's see if we can let's see if we can double down for lack of better terms on this same spot. And again, I'm just letting the wind do most of the work. Just letting it push that jig through, and I'm just popping it every now and then. I'm just popping it just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Man, that never gets old. That never gets old. And again, I'm just fishing an eighth ounce jig head. You know walking it through here using some of the tips and techniques in that video we made last week if you missed that video i'll put it right here you know you can check it out now this column this water column here it goes deeper right here in the middle somewhere so i'm gonna go down bring my bobber down about bring it up rather and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cast it out there there's a brush pile out there somewhere right in here I don't remember exactly where it's at, but out there's a little bit deeper. So I want to move that bobber up so that jig is a little bit deeper in the water out there. Because guys, there's a water, there's a brush pile out there. I don't remember the exact spot that it's in, but it's out there. And I'm just gonna, like I said, like like we've been doing, I'm just gonna work my jig through there until I find the spot. If I find the spot, we're gonna hopefully pull in a couple of. Oh gosh! Oh oh oh! Pimp down! Pimp down! Ugh. I got too close there. <laughs> I got too close and I fell. <laughs> ah, no big deal though. I didn't get too wet, so that's fine. I didn't get too wet. Oh man, I got dirt everywhere. Ooh. That's part of the fun right there. I got too close and I, and I ate it. <laughs> so now I'm upstream, so I'm gonna have to constantly, I'm gonna kind of steadily reel it, but also popping it that way it stays in line with where I need it to be, where I want it to be. Then I'll let it get close to that log. See if there's anything in that log. There it is. <laughs> right next to that log. Oh, look at that little, it's a little brown nose, brown nose crappie. Now a lot of people call that a magnolia crappie. And uh, magnolias are really specific to, I don't remember which state. If I remember, I'll put it right here over the screen, but. This is just a brown nosed crappie. Um, not necessarily a magnolia. Magnolias were bred and they're in, like I said, they're in one specific body of water, but man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Right there next to that structure. Just like we thought. You guys, don't be afraid. I've said it before. Don't be afraid to fish shallower than you think. You know, these fish, they don't need much water. They do not need much water at all. You would be very, very, very surprised to see what little water they need to live in now i'm in texas and most of our water is we're like this lake right here is i think it's 11 or 12 feet low they're still up in this shallow creek doing its thing all right let's see if we can't find this deep there's a brush pile like right in here somewhere right in here right somewhere out there there it is <laughs> oh he got off i had him i had him all right let's do it let's go back out there i can still see my ripples let's see if i can't get him to commit one more time that may be right where we need to be then. That was a very light bite. In keeping with tradition, it was a very light bite. And I'm gonna work it all the way in because you never know. If they're just suspended, if they're just in a school and they're just suspended, I mean it's no there's no telling, you know, exactly where they're gonna be at. So make sure you work that jig all the way in. You know, even when you think, oh that's there's no fish right there. Just keep keep on working it slowly, you know, and then once you can kind of see the jig or the bottom, like I'm getting to where I can see the jig right there, then I'm gonna pick it up. But let me add, I'm gonna bring this bobber up just a fuzz, about two inches, and then we're gonna go back out there. I don't think the big, big, big ends have showed up yet, personally. This creek's also a little choked off, so it's harder for them fish to get up in here. Uh, but when they show up, man, they show up. I'll tell you that right now. When they show up, they show up. And we're getting real close to that. You know, our, our season's down here. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt right now. It's dang near, it's like 75 degrees, but it's gonna be 85 today. So the weather's just been insane, insanely warm. There it is, <laughs> little guy, <laughs> little guy. Oh man, but you know what? You know what guys, it's better than being at work. It's better than being at work. I'll take it. So that tells me that they are hanging out right here on this brush pile. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep throwing out to it, seeing how much it wants to give up today. You know, some piles will give you two fish, then you're done. Some will give you 20 fish and then they're done. It just depends on the day, depends on the weather, depends on a lot of stuff, the fish, the presentation, you know, so don't be afraid to mix it up, try new things, especially new colors. You know, that's, you gotta always try some new colors whenever you can. All right, I'm gonna hook up and we're gonna go way down. We're gonna walk, I'm gonna walk probably 150, 200 yards. So I'm gonna turn y'all off and we'll pick up back down there. All right, <clears throat> came downstream. 
this wind is just it's getting faster and faster so what i'm gonna do is there's a pocket up here that's out of the wind i think i'm gonna try to tuck into that and see if what's up over there it's also a bend in the river which is what you you know fish like to hang out right there because then uh, shad will come out of that or main channel river channel and they'll slam into the wall i'm using slam into the wall loosely here uh, they'll hit that wall and they'll hug that wall so a lot of times you'll see fish especially bass they'll stage right along those walls and curves and creeks um so that's what i'm going to go over there and try to see maybe they're over there there we go <laughs> i wasn't recording i just cast i thought i was recording but got a nice little black crappie right there little guy still with the little fellas huh but hey like i said before it is way better than being at work Thanks, little guy. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get on some more right there. Yeah, right near this brush, which is what I think was thinking. I was thinking there'd be a couple in here. I thought I hit the record button and I hit the other button and I hit the top of the camera, not the button. I just hit the plastic, so my bad. I just really wanted to get out of that wind. Alright, let's cast out here. I'm just gonna slowly walk it back into me. What I'm trying to do is cast kind of in front of this brush. If I can get a better spot on the bank, it'd be a lot better. Work this jig in front of all this timber. Do that once or twice. If I catch this fish in the same spot or general area, then I know, okay, let's focus more efforts in that spot. There it is. I watched him swim over to it. That might be a bass. That's a bass. <laughs> That's a nice bass. Let me listen to this Oh, I spit it. Son of a gun. Ah, that was a bass. That was a nice bass though golly that was a nice bass i was trying to get my drag to where i could get it in here but no worries maybe he'll bite it again and that's why you do this that's why you cast these lines and because you never know <laughs> surprise surprise it broke off again but that's what happens when you're hitting this brush um, like i do i like to fish it close i like to be touching it i like to be all up in it gear i use today dan's jig heads with the keeper that's the keeper there man and things are awesome and then the jig body that i'm using is therapist y'all know if you watch the channel long enough that is my go-to paired together makes a beautiful combination put that on your six foot acc crappie sticks one piece pole paired with your guggen 1000 series reel and i'm telling you right now you'll be able to catch a ton of creek crappie the trick is just get out there figure out a pattern figure out what they're liking stick to it and reel them in got a good amount of catches today didn't catch much up river but i definitely caught a bunch downstream which is good for a day of fishing so i uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video drop in the comment section what y'all think is a, a good video or something that y'all want to see or any questions that you have i'm trying to i'm trying to curate these videos to make sure it's something that y'all want to watch and that y'all enjoy to watch so if you enjoyed this video i think you'll like this video and that's the one that where i talk about all the tips and tricks to help y'all get on creek crappie and today we put them to practice hope y'all enjoyed it smash that subscribe button and remember don't stop the dang peace